$46 silver. Are you ready for that? I'm ready for that. But you might be asking, what's it going to take? What conditions need to be in place for us to get to that heralded number of $46 per ounce in silver? Today, we're going to get some answers. We're going to look at what Bank of America is saying about silver. We're also going to look at what other mainstream media sources are saying about silver. And finally, we're going to take a look at the gold to silver ratio to prove that right now the price of silver really could easily be at $46 per ounce. But first, I want to say thank you for joining me here in the basement. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. Super chats are always super appreciated. Let's dig into this big prediction for silver that we're getting from Bank of America, but they fell a little short. And you'll know what I mean as we take a look at the article. Our friend Niels over at Kitco brings us an article. Bank of America remains bullish on silver. Sees $35 an ounce by 2026. We like the bullish on silver part, but really, $35 an ounce, Bank of America, by 2026? Heck, we could be at $35 per ounce next month. But let's dig in and see what they're saying. They're saying a growing chorus of analysts uh, is not ready to give up on silver just yet, talking about how it's fighting for $30 per ounce. Bank of America is the latest institution to weigh on silver. Michael Widmer, the bank's precious metals strategist, expects silver prices to push to $35 an ounce within the next two years. Again, we think you're way off, Michael, but we still want to hear why and dig in and learn some fascinating things about the silver market because there's something hidden in here that I think we need to talk about. Uh, he says, in the last couple of years, gold has been the go-to safe haven asset as investors look to hedge against geopolitical risk. However, Bank of America expects that now it's silver's time to shine. Again, guys, this is Bank of America, one of the biggest banks in the country, uh, as it has just recently started to perform within the precious metal sector. They say, quote, Silver has underperformed gold as an industrial metal as an industrial metal has been weak. With the global economy turning a corner, the white metal should start to perform better. Additional support is also coming through as the next generation of solar panels, which are more silver intensive, are gaining traction. We've covered that ad nauseum. It's unbelievable the amount of silver being sucked up by the solar panel industry. And then purple. All of this may then also attract more investors to the market, creating a virtuous cycle that pushes prices even higher. The industrial demand, which the Bank of America analyst is telling us, is through the roof. We know that much. But nobody's accounting for the potential that investor demand could come back. And if it also comes back, and I think it will come back when people wake up, right, as mainstream media pays more attention to silver and gold for that matter, we could have unbelievable shortages, in particular when it comes to the silver market, because we can check the box for industrial demand. We're running a massive silver deficit right now. We cannot check the box right now for investor demand. But when that box does get checked, can you imagine the price moves that we could see in silver? $46, that's nothing. We're going to talk about the mainstream media next, which could be the catalyst for this investor demand upswing that we could easily see. I think we will see in the next five years and we're going to talk about $46 silver, why we should be there right now. But first, I want to say thanks to the channel sponsors that make this video possible. We have Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X, Pimbex.com. If you're looking to buy silver, gold, or platinum group metals online, do yourself a favor. Consider Pimbex. I'll never tell you what to do, but go out there, look at their selection. I'll give you a little hint. It's the exact same stuff they have in the big, massive bull online bullion dealers, same exact stuff. 
compare the prices, and then do your research, right? Read what other people have said about Pembex. I can tell you, I've worked with Pembex over a year, but make sure that you're comfortable because I want you to find out what I found out. They are a company you can trust and First Mining Gold, Canadian gold development company that just put out some very positive uh, drill results uh, at their Duparquet project in Quebec. You can learn more about them at firstmininggold.com and Fortuna Silver, Silver and Gold, Precious Metals Mining Company. They're a producing company uh, in two regions, Latin America, Silver and Gold, and West Africa, which is gold centric. You can learn more about them at Fortuna Silver. Com. Now let's go check out just a couple of the big mainstream articles where we're seeing mainstream media covering silver and gold. Here's the double whammy, Yahoo Finance, the most mainstream of mainstream media, running an article from Reuters, also the most mainstream of mainstream uh, media, talking about gold dips. This was yesterday on higher bond yields. Fed speakers on tap. And we're not going to go through all the details of this article, but it covers gold and shows us that the mainstream media is picking up on the gold action. Here's another one from CNBC, right? Costco selling as much as 200 million in gold bars monthly, Wells Fargo estimates. And this is an older article, but I can tell you CNBC is also running more and more articles covering the gold and silver markets. Guys, this could act as a catalyst to bring more Western investors into the silver and gold market. And remember, remember, that's the missing link. That's the one component that we need to have, right, for a real massive move up in the silver price and the gold price as well. These are, it's a, it's a great opportunity. It literally is the silver lining and it's the one that nobody really focuses on. But when that comes through, again, it will serve as a catalyst to move the prices higher and higher. Finally, let's talk about $46 silver. Let's take a quick look at the gold to silver ratio. Here we have the gold to silver ratio all the way back to 1915. As you can see, when the government controlled the price of silver and gold, it was real kind of choppy, I guess you would say. Um, however, once the prices were allowed to trade freely, uh, we can see up and down movements. Look, when I look at this chart, I can easily see that maybe 50 is the uh, kind of the average over the last number of years. We've gotten down there a number of times lately. Guys, if we had a gold to silver ratio of 50 right now, do you know what the silver price would be? At $2,300 gold, if we had the 50 to 1 gold to silver ratio, the price of silver would easily be $46 per ounce. Is it clear to you that the silver price and the gold price, for that matter, should be much higher than they are right now? Now, we've got the biggest bank, Bank of America, right, talking about higher silver prices. We have the mainstream media starting to pick up on the story, which could catalyze uh, individual retail demand in the West. And we know that historically, if we zoom in on silver, that the silver price relative to gold is uh, quite a good value right now. Hey, don't make any financial decisions based on anything I'm saying. It's what I believe. You need to do your own due diligence and let me know what you think. We're always interested in hearing your thoughts on the silver market, on the gold market. One thing we do know for sure, it's going to be a choppy ride, but we believe that the price and value of silver and gold will be much higher in the future. I'll be here for you through it all. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.